Hello, right brainers. So, Web4 Actors Instagram is almost at 10,000 followers, and I am very excited. And of course, with that, I did some Insta digging. Being a computer nerd, I found some useful Instagram tools you can use for free right from your computer. I'll take the next few minutes to share it with you. First up, Aviary Photo Editor. This is a cool little tool by Adobe which allows you to upload a photo and perform quick edit options to your image. It's super easy. You will drag a photo right onto their homepage and it will get loaded into the editor. My steps normally include Enhance, Portrait, Apply, and also Crop, Square, Adjust, and Apply. And finally, Focus, Circular, Stretch, Apply. There are other tools available to you. You could, for instance, try Overlays, Original, or boom. Sometimes it looks really cool, but probably not in this case. Another cool one is Splash, which makes the photo black and white, and you can then color in whatever or whomever you want back in. But let's undo that. And now to export, you just click the Save button, then Download, and you will get the link in the browser. You can simply drag it back to your desktop, and you're done. Next up is IGDM, which works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. If you're like me and you want to be able to check your Instagram messages without the phone, this program is for you. Simply download and install the tool. Once you have it connected, you can search for anybody on Instagram. Let's search for Heidi Dean. There she goes under Marketing for Actors. You can click it and now you can type in a message. Just watch your class, cool stuff, can't wait to share it. There. You can also send images too. Let's find Dara and do a test. Dara Taylor Music, that's her. This is a test with image, upload image, and then nothing. Looks like I found a bug, but if I click on her username again, it will show the image I sent her. There it goes. The part I like the most about this tool, however, is the ability to paste in pre-written messages. So imagine you went to a film festival and met 30 people. Maybe you don't want to write them each different note. You just paste in one note and change the name. Boom. That easy. And finally, if you click on your avatar, you will see another neat feature. Users not following back. Right away, I can see that Instagram is not following me, and IMDb is not following me, and what? Sagaftra. Where's the love? But also this person called Sigguns. No clue who that is. And with one click, gone. Women in Film LA, you're safe for another week. Last but not least, Later.com. I'm going to quickly go through onboarding on this, as I've never used it before. I actually didn't realize it had free features. There are a few paywalls in the software, but it allows you to schedule 30 posts a month. So if you watched Heidi's class, linked both below and in my blog, you know that this might be plenty. The onboarding will ask you to download the app, so I am downloading it on my Pixel phone. And once that I can confirm that this is in fact my account, it will send a message to my phone 
and I will get thrown back into the main calendar page. This may seem a little overwhelming, but all we care about is the scheduling part right now. So first, it tells you to drop your media to upload. Let's do it. Drag and drop. While we wait, you can see that today's date and time is highlighted. Since this is a photo of Valencia from Crazy Ex Girlfriend, and the next episode is on Friday at 9 p.m., let's drag it into the timeline right there and then. Okay, looks like it's ready to get posted. The time and date is correct, and now I'm getting a little notification telling me I can reuse captions. Not this time. And what's here? It's that darn paywall I told you about. But we don't need this right now. Let's write a message by hand. Both Dara and I are huge fans of this show. Gabrielle, who plays Valencia, is super talented. So let's leave her a nice message and tag in the show. Let's add some hashtags. And of course the show. And finally click save. That was easy. Now I don't have to remember to post the photo and I can just watch the next episode without any interruptions. Okay, we get it. Crazy girlfriend.